beat makers as well. What's good? It's your boy Cheese the producer. So today we're gonna take this and we're gonna convert it to a MIDI file and we are going to import it into Beatmaker 3. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna name each track because that'll make it easier when it comes to importing it into Beatmaker 3. So I'll fast forward it through this just to make this go nice and quickly. Alright, uh, and now what we're gonna do is gonna save that. Uh, so we can come back to it and then we're gonna hit export and when we hit export we're gonna go to standard MIDI file and then we're going to choose iTunes now we're gonna exit out of court gadget after exiting gadget we're gonna open up the files app inside of the files app we're gonna go to on my iPad and core gadget now if you notice I have it selected by date which puts the four MIDI files that I just made right at the top. After that, I'm going to choose select, then I'm going to choose those four, then I'll hit share and save the files. And then I'm going to go to on my iPad, scroll to Beatmaker 3, and inside of Beatmaker 3, I'll just go to the MIDI files folder and I'll save it there. Now, inside of Beatmaker 3, I'll open a new file, I'll go to the Documents folder, then I will scroll to MIDI files. I'll open that folder, and you'll see the primary roller folder, and there are four MIDI files. So let's import them. But, but first, let's open up an app on a few pads so we can do that. So the first one I've chosen is Mold Model D, and I'm just gonna import that first MIDI file onto the first pad. So let's get track one, and I'm gonna just drag that onto the pad. And here it says uh, they can transpose it. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna press the transposition, and I'm gonna press pad one. After that, I'm gonna go back, and then I'll hit import. Now let's hear what it sounds like. Wait, oh, gotta bring the tempo up to where it was before. So as you can hear, the MIDI file is definitely in there. I'm gonna make some adjustments in the synth itself just to bring the pitch up a little higher. Yeah, I like that, that sounds good. So let's go get another MIDI file. Uh, but before we do that, let's add another AV3. This time, let's go with Magellan. Okay, so now we're gonna import the bass. And it's in the same bank, but I'm just gonna import it the same way I did before. I'm gonna hit pad one. But because I have pad two selected, it automatically puts the MIDI file on pad two. All right, so now let's give it a listen. All right, so we have to bring that up. We have to bring that up by one octave. So I'm just gonna drag that back out. Okay, and I'm gonna hit the keyboard icon. I'm gonna hit the select icon at the bottom here. I'll select all the notes and I'm gonna increase the size of the piano roll and I'm gonna scroll up from F1 to F2. So now let's hear what the bass line sounds like on its own. All right, that's perfect. Let's drag it back over. Now let's hear everything together. All right, let's turn some things down. Just keep it from being too loud. All right, so now let's repeat the process for the third track. So I'll fast forward the risk because you guys have seen it twice already. And if you see it again, you can always rewind. All right, so it appears that the third track, the MIDI didn't come through. So let's just skip to the fourth track. And we're doing the same thing again. So, and you can see that the MIDI came through here. So I'm just gonna drag it over the top. And as you can see, all of our MIDI came through and we're good to go. All right, now let's say you got some MIDI from a website, okay? So here I have some Bach MIDI from MIDI World. You can see when I clicked it at the bottom, it gives me the option to download, so I'll just do that really quickly. Then I'm gonna click open in, 
and I'm just gonna click save the files and we're just gonna go through the same process once again okay and I'm just gonna create a new folder and I'm gonna call it Bach MIDI and I will save the MIDI files in there now I'm gonna open up Beatmaker 3 and I'm just gonna get rid of this MIDI that we had before and I'm gonna go to Bach MIDI and I'm gonna just drag this in I'm gonna hit import and as you can see it seems like it's not there but it's actually up on God knows what pad I don't know so here's what we're gonna do we're gonna zoom out as much as we can and then we'll select everything and we're gonna copy it after we have it copied we're gonna actually hit the delete button to just get rid of all of that. Now once we've done that, we're gonna open up pad one and we're gonna press the keyboard icon on the side. And once we're inside of here, we will press paste. Now let's give it a listen and see what it sounds like. As you can hear and as you can see from the piano roll, uh, the notes are really, really low, so what I'm gonna do is actually go back into the piano roll and I'm gonna transpose everything up a couple of octaves so we can actually hear it. Because right now it's on, it's starting on D zero and there are some notes in the negative one range. So I'm just gonna bring it up to uh, about D four, see what we get here. I got the loop on. So actually, you know what we can do? I actually want to change the instrument sound. Because this synth is cool, but like, why don't we just use some brass or something in here? I think that'll sound a whole lot better. So let's do that. All right, so I'm just gonna open up uh, I fretless brass and let's see what it sounds like now. <laughs> Cheese and I'm signing off for Beat Makers the Squad. I'll catch you next time on these iOS Quick Tips. Peace.